What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today, today I don't feel like doing anything. Well, to be fair, I did do things, but that has therefore led to not doing anything. Basically today I went to the, uh, I went to watch Star Wars, yes, with some mates. Went to watch Star Wars, it was actually really good, I enjoyed it. There was a lot of speculation, people are like, oh my god, what if it's bad? And I'm like, no, it's not bad. It's really good, trust me. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Spoiler alert, Batman dies. Um, yeah, also when I get new year phones, because the, these ones, these ones, they're so dodgy, like, I don't, I don't know what happened to them. I legit don't know what happened to them. What's wrong with them? They're just not working anymore. These ones, they're actually dodgy as well, think about that. I mean, the part I like about the earphones always is like this button. When you click it, sort of like change a song on your iPhone. Like, I like that because like if I'm like running or something, start, yeah, stop making, stop laughing. Yeah, I do run, yeah. When I'm like running or something, I don't want to like take my phone out and like press next song or like something. Something like that. If I'm like on a playlist or something, you get me. Like, I just like to double tap it if I don't like the song or something. It's convenient. But, um, yeah, these ones, the dodgy thing about them is that they're, they're staticky, so, like, when I plug them in to listen to YouTube or stuff, um, kind of gets weird. Okay, basically, um, uh, once I came home from Star Wars, I went to chill. No, I chilled in the room for a while. And then, oh, I'm gonna get comfortable. Then, parents went out, right? So, I was alone for a couple of minutes, hours, I don't know. Went out to get dinner, and I was, like, thinking, should I sit in the restaurant? But, I'm alone. Therefore, I w wouldn't want to look like a weirdo sitting in the restaurant um, alone. And that would be so sad. So, I just packed the food back up to the room. And now I'm going to eat it. Also, got a new football, by the way. Because we all know I take football incredibly seriously. Like, they might as well call me the Alexis Sanchez of non-league or non-professional football. Because, come on. I've legit been dying to eat roti prata. Sadly, this isn't roti prata. They actually don't have roti prata in the Marina May Sands food court, which is sad. Speaking of Marina Bay Sands, though, um, this place is basically 50% hotel, 50% shopping mall. That's literally what it is. And that's actually sick because people come here all the time. Like, I see Singaporeans come here. They're not even staying here. They literally come here for the shopping mall experience. That's crazy. Like, that's mental. I've been dying to eat, like, proper Malaysian Singaporean food. Because, like, in the Philippines, I mean, it's nice. But, like, it doesn't have this kind of food that caters to my taste. Like, have you guys ever tried freaking nasi lama? Oh, my God. It actually sounds so simple. It's fried chicken. Fried egg, sambal, peanuts, anchovies, uh, cucumber, and that's it. And it tastes so good, oh my god. I legit just want to stay in this room, watch the Liverpool-Watford game, okay. Like, chill, vlog, like how I'm doing right now. Eat my nasi lama, and then go to bed, because I have a really early flight tomorrow at like 10 o'clock in the morning actually that's not that early i just realized though um interesting thing i've vlogged in every single one of the countries i've been in ever since i started back youtube wait started back youtube i think i should clear that phrase up a bit basically for me the time i started back youtube was in when I made that first Five Nights at Freddy's video, because that was like the spark. 
to make like brand new like top-notch uh, videos and like really put effort into the videos instead of like playing Flappy Bird recording my facial camera without recording the screen while and not editing it and it was just so bad that video is actually really bad how did I get a, over 100 views on it I don't know it has like five dislikes though I would dislike that video but yeah um ever since I started that phase back up I have never vlogged in Singapore I vlogged in Malaysia we all know that a couple times like that one hour one I guess that counts Australia you know I vlogged um Sydney and Brisbane both Philippines yes I've definitely vlogged like I don't know maybe one of my videos I've vlogged there but even my normal videos count Singapore though all of my previous videos before that Five Nights at Freddy's video were all in Singapore but they were all pretty bad ones except for I guess the Giroud impression which doesn't make any sense now that I think about it but it's still a funny video well now that I can stop talking uh, I can dig into this gorgeous plate of fried rice or nasi lemak thing is though Singapore they make like really good food but it's not top 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 notch but it's clean thing about Malaysia is the food is top 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 notch but it tastes but it's really like unsanitary theory for me though is maybe it tastes really good because it's unsanitary Oh, actually, um, Happy New Year, guys. Well, it's not here. It's not even Christmas yet. It's um December 21st here. Yeah. Uh. Christmas yet. But by the time you will be watching this, it'll be Christmas and New Year. So, Happy New Year. By the way, the bathtub here, can I just say, is immaculate. It's immaculate. Like the, um, the... It's so like nice and I had a bubble bath yesterday. It was so good. And like I rarely get to use bathtubs cuz you know, unless I go to hotels and stuff cuz I don't have a bathtub at home. But um it's crazy. It's crazy. Thing is though, I would say like 75% of the time I do not go into the bathtub when I'm at hotels because they just don't look comfortable. Like I sort of look at this bathtub and I'm like Yo, I gotta try that because it looks like nice and shiny and like fresh and like glistening and it's like, oh my god, it's inviting me. But most bathtubs, I see, I see like, I don't know, like just things that really just put you off, you know, like, like hair in the drain and like, you know, a bit of dirt on the sides and you're like questioning yourself in the head. Oh my god, whose dirt is that? If, and is that coming from one person's? body or from multiple people's body but it is the hotel's responsibility in the end though isn't it like let, let's say like someone completely shat in the bathtub on their last day of staying in the hotel they just like shat piled into the bathtub and it was like it was all like watery i'm sorry if you're eating dinner i'm sorry like and it was it was basically just like shitty water literally um in the bathtub Essentially, it's the cleaner's job, isn't it? Like, I'm sure the guy wouldn't, they wouldn't be a fan of the guy, and like, he's not exactly gonna be their best friends, but the cleaner's job in the end is to clean. So I guess it would be their job to properly scrub away any poo that's remaining. I mean, I'm sure there have been people who've used the bathtub before me in this room, and I'm sure that there has been dirt caught in the bathtub or something and I'm positive that the cleaners have cleaned it up because when I walked in yesterday it was so clean and so nice yeah that's just kind of a bit of an interesting rant I was watching a couple of trailers before the movie came out got me thinking which movie am I actually the most hyped up for? 
Tell me what movie you guys are most hyped up for. For next year. I'm most hyped up for Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, and X Men Apocalypse. Obviously, Civil War is in there, but I, if I had to pick three out of four movies, Civil, Civil War would not make the cut. Although, the movie, compared to the comic which I read, the comic is sick. It's sickening. It's amazing. It's the entire Marvel Universe divided in two to fight each other. I'm not joking. This one is like a 5v5. That's also not a joke. They could literally settle it with a futsal match. <laughs> you get what I mean? Anyway, guys. I want to enjoy my nasi lemak, which is sick. Amazing. You guys got to try it someday. But I think that's all for this random vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. And peace out. Why? What do you mean? Oh my god. Did anybody else just see that back heel shot from Mesut Ozil? That was beautiful. What the <laughs> fuck happened? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.